The Atlantic was really blue because the sky was so blue. There wasn't a cloud in the sky. The flowers in the fields were really, really bright because of all the sunshine that we've been having lately. The seaweed was an amazing colour as well. And there was a small amount of swell coming in. We paddled past some seals and islands, small islands. We stopped before we got off the water and watched the sun go down over the Atlantic before getting out of our boats. Carried them up to the van. That was the end. My name's Claire. I grew up in Manchester, fell in love with the outdoors, eventually moved to Ireland, worked in a number of different outdoor centres and ended up setting up my own company. And that's where I am now. I started Real Adventures five years ago. When I started the company, I didn't have, I didn't have a clue about business. I didn't have a clue about marketing or any of that. I would do the activities, but I'd also do the bookings, do the marketing, do everything there is to do with running a business. Yeah, that's it. We we don't rent equipment because we're not really covered for insurance. So it's kind of hard to make a career out of working in the outdoors because of the seasonality and the low pay. <laughs> Are you clear with them? Claire, yeah, yeah. yeah, I was talking Claire to you an eye. Oh, I'm with the eye. <laughs> ah, okay. Right, guys. So if you ha you've obviously put wetsuits on before, <laughs> they'll probably be inside out, okay? So just flip them around the other way, and then the zip goes to the back. So I first got into the outdoors when I was quite young. I was in school and they used to bring us on outdoor activity holidays to the French Alps. And that's where I first kind of fell in love with everything about the outdoors. Come in, come in. Don't be what I try to do with my activities is remember when I first went to those caves or jumped off some of the jumps or you know went surfing and try and remember that and give people the best possible experience they can. One of the, the best things about the job is being able to show people the region of Connemara, like how beautiful it is. It's just, it's, it's one of the, the best parts of the job. So I hope to keep doing what I'm doing till my body gives up on me. <laughs> I've very bad okay. knees. I dislocated okay. my knee five times when I was younger and from that it's kind of, it's quite damaged. So realistically, I don't, I don't know if the body will take much more abuse. <laughs> Thank you.
There's some moments where I think maybe it's not the right choice of career. It's not, maybe it's not very stable. It's not paid enough money. Um, I'm not going to be able to do this forever, so I need to get to the point where there's other people who I can pay to do it for me. Yeah, my name's Steve. I'm one of the guides with Real Ventures and, and a really good friend of Claire. You're a sneaky snake. Claire, the, the great thing about her company and the reason why I like to work for her is her philosophy really is about taking small groups of people and trying to give them the best experience possible. She works all day at this and then she'll be out in the evening doing it. So any minute she's not working, she's out playing in the field of her work. You know, so that's what motivates her. You know, in life basically, so ideally we can orientate our life towards what we want to do. So I don't teach surfing. I kept it as a hobby because it's nice to have something for yourself. It's a really good thing to have in your life, something like that. It's a really amazing way of taking the whole world off your shoulders. That's what the outdoors can do. It's like you've flown away from all your worries and now you're just concentrating on being in the moment and forgetting about all the stress and all the worries that you have. Yeah, I think it's literally just waking up and living the coolest life that I can. <laughs>